y'all it's i heard page welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel if you're new definitely don't hesitate to hit that subscribe button hit the bell so you won't miss out on these notifications if you're an og welcome back i heard fam let's get this started okay then y'all so today today y'all i am about to go into a protective style um if you see my other videos you already know like I told y'all I was about to leave my hair alone because I was already feeling guilty that I ended up doing a silk press two times in like 30 days, y'all. Yes. If you haven't, but if you haven't seen that video, y'all definitely go check that out. Um, share that video as well. Definitely crazy, but you know, we're here. We're here in this video, okay? So yeah, I'm about to go into a protective style and I figured I would do some locks. It's been a while since I've did locks, um, but they're gonna be a little bit different than my other ones. I think my other ones were a little bit bigger. I'm gonna try to do these a little bit smaller. Plus I have a new method that I wanna try out. It is by the company named X trend you can get this from amazon i'm gonna put all the information down in the description box as usual y'all um it is 24 inches pre-stretch comes with eight packs so we're about to see what it is about y'all this is my first time using this brand and using this hair Ooh, cute so it's definitely soft doesn't really have too much of a smell either that's really good because I hate when you get hair and it has a smell and you definitely have to wash it. I wasn't looking forward to washing this just because, yeah, I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm not really in the mood I'm being lazy. I don't feel like doing all that, to be honest. It's 24 inches. Um, I think the color is 1B. So we definitely got 1B going on here. As well, y'all, they ended up, they were so nice that they ended up sending me some more hair and I ended up doing a video on this style recently. But it is the French curly braiding hair. It's 22 inches, um, it's pre-stretch, eight packs, once again, extra in, y'all. And they also ended up sending me these cute, clips that y'all can get as well off of Amazon. So I'm definitely anxious to try these out and use these as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into this hair, y'all. My hair now. So I'm starting off on my hair, freshly washed, deep conditioned. Y'all, my little lock is doing what it wants to do. Freshly washed, deep condition, and I ended up, as you can tell, just naturally stretched my hair by putting it in a bantu knot. smaller than I've ever done before that took a while I'm not even gonna lie I think it took me about two two and a half hours and that was just braiding halfway down and I two strand twist the rest of the way down yeah needless to say that took me about two hours two and a half hours I was burnt out with doing hair by the time I did all that and so I'm just now coming back today and doing the actual protective style of the locks y'all so so far i'm really liking how it's looking this hair y'all this hair deserves a lot of credit literally one my head doesn't even feel heavy and i'm almost halfway done like the hair is so lightweight i cannot stress that enough 
So I figured right here, I'll kind of just give y'all a tutorial. I guess you can say that, <laughs> showing y'all how I ended up doing this. Okay, so the back ones, I kind of did them different because I went on and started at the roots with the back ones because they were so bunched together. I know it really didn't even matter about them being bigger at the roots or not. Um, But the front ones, I really didn't want them bunched like big and having the knot at the roots. So I came up with this method and wanted to try this way with starting a little bit down the braid. So not really right at my roots, but as you can tell, like I guess a quarter or so down. And then I'm just gonna pull it through and I'm making sure that I get it even is what I'm doing here because I was trying to keep all of the locks this around the same length. Some of them may be just like a little inch or a half inch longer or shorter, but for the most part, I was trying to make sure they were the same length. Have y'all seen me keep doing something with my teeth and mouth? I had just ended up eating some pistachios and yeah, I was so hungry, y'all. I was on this fast thing. And I had to end up eating something, but at the same time, I was trying to get done with this hairstyle. So yeah, either way, y'all. So now I'm just taking and I'm wrapping around my hair and I'm wrapping back up my hair. Instead, in the back, I started at the roots and I just wrapped down the whole time until I got to the end. And so now I'm going to wrap up to my roots and then when I get to the roots, I'm making sure that I wrap really just going up one time because then I have to come back down again. So that's basically like wrapping two times and I didn't want it too bulky. So you want to make sure if you do try this to try to wrap up once, wrap down once, if that makes any sense. So now I'm just going ahead and wrapping all the way down. And um, if you didn't see, I'm holding on to half of the hair with my hair. So right here, I figured I would show y'all kind of how I end the lock. So I just wrap all the way down. And when I get to the end, I start to wrap my way back up with the hair and the hair that's left at the end. And that's really it. It kind of just combines itself together and locks up where I don't have to burn it or anything else, y'all. Once again, the hair is really lightweight. That was another concern with me because I ended up using like three and a half packs. And that's actually a lot for me because normally when I do styles because I would get my locks bigger, I wouldn't use three and a half packs. I probably would use like two is normally when I do even box braids and stuff because I don't do them this small. But these were a little bit smaller for me. Like I said, y'all definitely in the back, I did them a lot smaller, but I am loving the fullness, the realistic look, like they definitely look really realistic. Um, in the front, I ended up doing more like the knotless locks. And in the back, because I knew I was going to have any ponytails and because it's so grouped together, I kind of wasn't concerned with doing the knotless locks in the back. I ain't going to lie to y'all. But this is how it's looking in the back. So once again, the fullness, the color, the texture, the hair is so soft. I cannot explain that enough. It's so soft. Um, the stretchiness of the hair is another good benefit for doing the um, locks. But I'm going to put all the information down in the description box. As usual, the links for this hair as well for the French curly braiding hair, which is just as good quality, y'all. I mean, it comes from the same company. X-Trend is the company. Once again, put all the stuff, link brand everything down in the description box so y'all can definitely go check them out they are a seller on amazon so their hair is selling on amazon so y'all can get y'all hair do y'all some locks do box braids it is a lot of other stuff you can do you can do butterfly locks so don't think that you just have to get it and do locks that is just what i wanted to do so once again i hope y'all enjoyed this video as usual y'all be sure to like comment and subscribe share sharing is always caring i'll see y'all in the next one bye